here we start on a new project today. We are updating the, the Max and we're converting it to a V2. So this is the longer body you require. The other part to do the body you need the longer rack. Um, if I hold it side by side you can see it's a quite a bit longer. So what I'm going to do is um, speed up the filming and uh, you'll see the uh, see it come alive. So there we go, the swap over as you can see was really easy, um, it's just a mainly all 2.5 hexes except for one 2mm on the lever, um, there you go, and it is literally the bar and the body you require to go to the the wide max V2. Um, I have shoe goo, well white glued and uh, take the inside for a bit more durability and it does make the shell quite a lot more rigid but uh, that's the new body for the um, wide max now the next part is a new chassis so it's a case of swapping everything over and what a lot of them seem to do is Is they do the front bulkhead here first and then they take all the electrics out in one lump well I'm thinking of just pulling the wires um, to loosen them off because you want them this side anyway so I think it's easier to do what I'm doing here pull the wires because they're colour coded so same to same there we go and like I said I can remove this brace now I can release the servo and then I can take out the servo, the ESC and the receiver and swap that straight into the new chassis without having to worry of the weight of the motor and then I'll swap the front bulkhead and then take the motor out and, and transfer over the last bulkhead. Um, it does require um, a new prop shaft and a new underpart. So first things first I'm going to get all this off before I start ripping stuff out underneath.
There we go, the electrics are all swapped over nicely. Um, I think it's all in the right place. But um, now we are going to take the front off. So the first thing we've got to do is remove this under centre section. And then it should be six screws in the front. Should completely take it off. back together the brace is back on now to strip off the last section well let's next do this bit next it's only a quickie the little side bars I think they're two millimeter yeah Where I'm going into new plastic, I am using a little bit of candle wax just to take the strain off of things. And somehow I've lost a screw. Well, I'll sort that out in a sec, but that's that bit complete. Now we're on to the more trickier part, is getting this. Uh, motor out. I'm going to remove this cover first um, because 
you've got to be able to lift the motor away. There's one screw here and there's a few underneath. One, two, three, four. So we'll whiz them out first to release the motor from under below and then see how it goes. Put in the new longer centre drive shaft and push the back back on. Now we've just got to put all the screws in. a bit of an accident I've lost the pin somehow it must be a loose fit but this is a pin from hex up and it fits in the hole so I'm putting in D which is number four and then lining the motor up and hopefully that will be spot on Yeah, it seems to be the place so you've got to be really careful with that pin because it can go wayward that's the only problem really I've had so far this screw seems to lined the gear up better and actually pulled it into place so be very careful about losing that pin I'll probably find it eventually but if you do lose it just use a hex pin it fits in nice and just lines it up final part to fit is the battery holder. Um, for you it will be in an instant but um, there is a delay on the part so once that arrives you'll see it fit instantly. Now after the last video I said this will be instant for you the part arriving to do the battery tray. And yeah it was going to be a week and a half waiting for the part, so that's why I'd done the conversion in advance. I thought, oh, it's only going to be a week and a half. It got delayed for about two and a half weeks, a bit more. And then it got delayed for over a month, so I've waited two months for this poxy part. But finally, I've got the battery holder, so the car will be a runner again. But, uh, yeah. Not much luck.
I've got to work out the fitment with the batteries and the padding because it makes the battery holder a lot larger and basically there's two main parts and let's work this out that must slot in that way and clip so we'll clip it and then this one must go just working this out yeah that way round Do you know, sometimes you look at things and you just don't look at them right. Yeah, it just slides on. And clips. And that will just slot in there. Just got to remove a couple of screws to get to them. And that will be done. Now, I've screwed it in with four stainless steel screws because I made a little bit of a mistake. I sold on the old parts on eBay because there's nothing wrong with the arms, the old arms from the wide kit conversion. Um, and um, the chassis and all that, so I sold it off to get a little bit of money back. But the only thing is, I didn't take the screws out of the battery holder. So I had to come up with some stainless steel ones for that. Now going back to the battery holder, it gives you a good option of what you can fit. You have, I've lost it now. Oh, here it is. There's a piece of foam just to pad the main holder if you want to run super large batteries. And then you get an option of two adapters to shrink it down. As you know, I run these Z batteries. Let's see how they go in. Yeah, if you look, there's a gap. So I should get away with the grey one and they just literally hook on and just clip easy as that that's a it's tight in there so all we've got to do now is add a bit of padding front and rear uh, so they give you these large foam blocks and they just about seem to be made to measure for my batteries that's pretty cool that's good it doesn't affect the wires but it holds them in a nice place I'm happy with that so we just got to stick these in I don't know if I fit that fit them sideways thinking about it I might have to cut them if I do them this way. Yeah, what I'm going to do is slice this down. And then that way the sticky's on the bottom because if I do it sideways they're gonna touch. Let's see what this is like. 
that's nice and tight. So I'm going to take a chance of sticking the front one in. That is a tight fit. I don't know if that's too tight. But like I said, take it apart. Flip that off. Like I said, keep playing with it until you're happy. Where's that bit of foam? Actually, the height of the battery it seems quite happy. It's not going to be tight, but I'm going to go with the foam and call it a day. But I can always stick a bit of foam under the battery for even more padding. Yeah, it's an in-between height, so I'll leave it like that for now because I don't think it's going to come out of the battery too much. But it was it was bending, um, bending it too much. So I'll look for a bit of flat foam and I'll shove some in the bottom. But we have finally got the max up and running. And you'll see it out next time. Running as the V2.